Hello, my name's Simon Lee, and I am the writer um, of the volleyballanalyst.blogspot.co.uk. Um, as I said in a previous blog post, um, I will reveal a part of my workflow. I decided to um, reveal some of my Excel stuff that I do because um, that's where I feel that some people can actually learn from me, um, and where I feel I'm pretty good at it. So this is the Excel sheet uh, for my Super 8 statistics that I do. This is the master document. As you can see, it's pretty blank. Um, a lot of the zeros refer to a certain part of, of the spreadsheet. So C16, which is a team, which is there. Um, that's referred to a part of the match data sheet. Um, and all these, you can see from here, uh, refer to, to, to something. And a couple of logos there, and it's kind of set, bad, set data. Anyway, so match data. This is where all the, the raw data goes. Um, hopefully, put in, so that's where the home team data goes. The away data, and then this is where set data goes. This is the five set in volleyball. That's where the home team. This is the away team with thirty, and it's important that it's set. Uh, 30 because um, every cell refers to a specific place on the dashboard so you want to get that right. I wrote some steps just because um, sometimes I forget either because I haven't done it for a long time or there's different kind of workflows um, and that's just there to make sure that I know what I need to do. And this is just a chart da data, um, obviously blank, that refers to this chart here. That will come to life once um, once the data goes in. All these comes to life too. These numbers. So what happens is um, we normally go to that easy. So this is the volleyball software that I use for the Super Eights. It's quite a nifty, nifty little uh, software. So I'm, I'm going to be using the Leeds Resplania, which is the Super Eights finals. I'll be using the box score. A stat report that I built. Focus on players. Yeah. Well, I'm going to load up for a bit because it's, um, the netbox is a bit slow. Coming up. So this is um, a report that I built. All these um, columns is where I want it to be. It's where all the text tends to want to be, etc., etc. So let me just. Make it a bit smaller. So what we, so to get that data out, it's just a simple case of copy and paste. So you highlight, copy, and over, and from here you paste it. So paste special and text. Right, um, then what you do after is you put the shirt numbers, which is from, you get it from the score sheet. So that's to get the final score sheet. Um, and it's all on the bottom. Yeah. Um, and the positions, you normally just have to do that yourself. Um, you should be able to remember it from when you actually do the actual uh, um, stats. So obviously I'm going to cheat a little bit. Ooh. I've obviously done this before, I only use the ones I use for the actual thing. So I've say put all these ones there. For the Polonia, I haven't done it yet. Just want to show you this. So what happens is, these, the data won't go in until I put in a shirt number. Um, so you can see that up until uh, B12 on the match data, B12 that is good, and whole Polonia there's nothing there. So this it function is pretty neat um, uh, function you get. If the match data in AB3 in cell AB3 is zero, they leave a blank. If it's blank, you leave a blank. But if there's a number in there, I just have the number, then we put in what the, what it says on it. So, let's 
So, so, so I have kind of done that already. Magically, for La Plonia, that's it. Also, you can see that there's loads of blanks, um, loads of players missing. So what what we do there is we use a macros function to sort and arrange it all. Um, quite a neat, neat little feature. You can do a lot more on this. So that run. So obviously it ranks all the it ranks the all the players all the shot numbers, so it's from 1 to 9 1 to 16 and reflect who is, is reflected on, on this um, so yeah that's pretty much it um, feature we got here is um, is uh, the scores count if as another little function is basically counts if the number in these boxes are 25 or above um, which doesn't always work so obviously the actual score comes from the school up in here actually it's not the bottom all the 